Hello again, everybody. Welcome to Chapter 1, Section 7, as we uh, wrap up our material in Chapter 1. If you've not yet written your name on your notes, I don't know if there's a blank on your paper or not. Uh, either way, would you please put your name on them so if I happen to find them with a name on it, I might try to get it back to you. Vocabulary word here for uh, the last uh, section of Chapter 1, 1-7, is equation. An equation is a mathematical sentence that contains an equal sign. Remember the ideas. If I write it down, you write it down, please. There are multiple ways to represent data. That's what this section is about. There's really four ways we could do this. The first way that you can represent data is just by describing it in words. So they gave us a problem right here that uh, a distance reading right here again distance is equal to 60 miles per hour times the number of hours so somebody is driving a car their average speed is 60 miles per hour if you want to know how far they've gone over a period of time uh, that's the problem that we're working with here so the first thing the words that's just a, a description in words a second way that we can show information is a table now typically um, in a table that first column represents the x values and the second column represents the y values even though we will often change the variable to represent the situation so time here is hours okay that's what the time represents and if they drive for one hour their total distance that's total the total distance that they will have traveled would be 60 makes sense right well what if they go two mi two hours how far will they have traveled they would have gone two times 60 to get 120 if they go for three hours that means every hour they went 60 miles so three times 60 would be 180 and if they go for four hours four times 60 would equal 240 so all we're doing here is with this particular situation is we've just made a table where this column represents hours, this column represents how far they've traveled over a period of time. A third way that we can show that is to turn it into an equation, which you kind of see in the column here. You kind of see the equation happening right there, where the distance, the total distance that we uh, came up with in the y column would be equal to 60 times the amount of time that they spent and in this case our time happened to be hours so that's an equation and then the fourth way that we could show data is to put it in a graph which they did here now notice in the graph there's several things happening here first of all they have their axis labeled you need to always do that tell me what the axis represents you also should have a title I don't really like their title graph this should be maybe distance traveled on vacation or, or something like that and then uh, from there the next part is to pick a scale which they did for you see how right here it's one two three four five six well, that's because the X values here um, are that makes sense for this particular data notice over here that the data is 60 120 180 240 so we're gonna need a bigger scale on this side of the graph over here so they set it up for you they counted by 40s so that's something that you have to consider based on what the data is from your graph how big those scales are so what we know is that at one hour okay, I'm looking at this table again at one hour he went 60 miles per hour now that should look familiar to you that's a coordinate that's an ordered pair so I'm going to graph 160 which they did that for you there at two hours they went 120 miles so they plotted to 120 and they did that with the rest of them and what we could do is we actually could take a straight edge draw this graph and notice that th this makes a line that's actually called a linear function which we'll get into what that means later on in the year but it means it makes it basically it makes a straight line so that's three different ways that we can show or represent data and that's what we're working with in this chapter. So the problems, there'll be fewer, but you might have more to do. So quick recap, words, okay, describe the problem or describe the situation. And just words and phrases, okay? The car went 60 miles per hour. How far did they go 
over a period of time. The table um, is, displays the data or the numbers. Num numbers. All right. The graph, the graph shows a, basically is a visual trend where we can look at the graph and we can easily see that every hour they're going the same distance on average uh, as they continue. Now I left one word off equation. I wish I would have put that on there, but we can actually add equation here. Okay, the equation, all right, uh, is used to figure values of y based on x. In other words, that's where you went, well, in one hour you went 60, in two hours you went uh, 120, etc., etc. So they all serve a different purpose, and we need to be able to go interchangeably between those three, or excuse me, those four different ways of showing the data. Okay, so once you have that down, let's turn your paper over and see if we can work through a problem here. And I'm not sure if I'll have time to finish this or not, but we'll give it a shot. Number one says copy and complete each table. Well, you've got it in front of you, so you don't have to copy it. And it says state the domain and the range. Now, remember that from the previous video? The domain are the x values, and the range are the y values. So number one, number one says a team scores six points for each touchdown. Okay, well, football players, before you go crazy here, they're not talking about extra points. One touchdown is actually six points, and then the extra point could be one or two if you do it uh, from a regular play, one if you kick. So if I have number of touchdowns, that's my X column, which they have right here, one touchdown would be six points. Okay, So two touchdowns, well, that would be two sixes, right? So it would be two times six, which would be 12. Five touchdowns. Notice they jumped here. That's okay. Five touchdowns, that would be uh, five times six would be 30. And then seven touchdowns would be seven times six. That would be 42 points. All right, so that's, that's one. That's completing the table. Then it asks you for the domain. So the domain, remember the domain is basically all the values of x. And we write it in this little set notation. The domain in this particular problem is 1, 2, 5, 7. Whoops. And then the range, that will be all the values for y. 6, 12, 30, and 42. So there you go. That takes care of number one. Now I think what I'm going to do is stop this video here and start another one because I think I'm going to go over the 10 minute limit if I keep going. So we'll pause here and we'll start right up with uh, part two for chapter 17 in a moment.